girl. So girl. So between being pregnant, well, I don't look that big. I don't look like big girl. Huh? Between like being pregnant, my husband just opened up a club, and so y'all, y'all see the pimples and. I love my baby. I love my baby dearly. But when they touch down on, on this earth, I'm going to show them what they did to their mama. Because <sighs> all this stuff, girl, I go to bed with like, a whole bunch of stuff on me, a whole bunch of pimples and nasty. Yeah, well, stretch marks haven't come. But everybody says stretch marks gonna come late. So I've been doing like a lot of oils and stuff. But anyway, <coughs> today um I'm going to go pick up my bassinet um from a Walmart. I'm getting ready to go pick up my bassinet. I have to set it up even though the baby's not here. I have to set it up because I have to take pictures with me using it videos and stuff like that it's um for ugc and so i'm really really happy um the company is a very very big company it's well known and it's very safe it has a great rating for um children's products and so uh, i'm really happy that i found um an agency that deals with um kids products and baby products and nursery things so a lot of that stuff so a lot of that stuff that I may be asking on my registry for, that's a little bit more expensive because, you know, bassinets are like $100 and up. I'm glad I'm able to partner with people to um, get it for free because that, that really helps. A lot of people don't know it's very expensive to have a baby. And I'm not even talking about like, oh, baby, sh girl, my baby shower over $13,000 don't even the caterer just sent me a bill for $5,100 for only 80 people so but baby showers are very very expensive and even going to the doctor it's like $150 every visit and I gotta go like every two weeks and and then at the end I gotta pay $1,300 and then I gotta pay for this and I gotta pay for that it's very expensive before the baby even gets here and these are like expenses i never knew about like i knew about food diapers clothes things like that but like everything else i was not prepared for but thankfully um thankfully my man and my family my parents everybody's very very supportive because i had this one myself girl I would have to give me a little find me page because this is this is a lot. So I'm looking raggedy. I just dropped off my um stepson to school. <sighs> Girl, I don't know how I'm gonna do. I'm, I don't know how I'm gonna get him ready for school and deal with babies and all types of stuff. But when he be acting up in the morning, it really doesn't bother me. It really, really doesn't. He be crying and. <sighs> And I know he thinks I'm like special ed. I know he probably thinks like, oh my God, my dad and I married a um, mentally disabled person. Cause when he be doing all that crying, and, I be doing it right with him. Oh my God. He's so dramatic. He don't want, he don't want to go to school. He want to watch TV. He don't want to, but his teeth are coming in. It's so weird. That's another thing I'm going to have to do. I have to go find him an orthodontist. Because he's supposed to lose his baby teeth. But what's happening is that his big boy teeth are growing in behind his his baby boy teeth. So under here he has like teeth. Uh, here he has teeth that are growing in. But none of his teeth are falling out. All the kids in his class everybody's teeth is falling out but his so i have to find him a um orthodontist though 
I can, I can see it's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be a problem. So let's go to Walmart, pick up my baby best tonight. Go home, set up, do some content. Today's just gonna be a content day. I do have a content. I'm so backdated. People owe me money, and usually I'm on top of it, but I just. Distracted, horrible. So we just came to Walmart and we got the children's Beachwood bassinet. This is so cute. Oh my god, girlfriend. So we got the bassinet. Let's go check it out and let's go pay.